In this video, we'll see an example of how to find the slope of a tangent line using derivatives in polar coordinates. This will be a two-part question, but here's the first part. We want to find the slope of the tangent line to this curve, r equals 8 minus 8 sine theta, at the point 16 comma 3 pi over 2. So what we have to remember is the derivative formula for the slope of a tangent line in polar coordinates, which is that dy dx equals f prime of theta times the sine of theta plus f of theta times the cosine of theta divided by f prime of theta times cosine of theta minus f of theta times the sine of theta. And my recommendation is to not try to memorize this formula. It's, there's sines and cosines, and there's a plus and a minus, and a prime and a not prime, and there's just a lot of similarities between the top and the bottom of this fraction that it's going to be a tricky thing to memorize perfectly correctly. So what we need to remember here is that the top of this fraction is simply the derivative with respect to theta of y, dy d theta, which is the derivative of r sine theta, because that's what y is in polar coordinates. y is r sine theta. So using the product rule, we can see that we get the derivative of r, so f prime of theta we can think of as r prime, and f of theta we can think of as r, and that's exactly what we would get if we took the derivative using the product rule of r sine theta. Similarly, on the bottom, that's just dx d theta, which is the derivative with respect to theta of r cosine theta. And again, if we think of f prime as r and f of theta as r, we see that that's what we would get using the product rule. So all you really need to remember is that in parametric equations, if you want dy dx, you simply take the derivative of y divided by the derivative of x. You have to remember that in polar coordinates, y is r sine theta, x is r cosine theta. Those are all things that you have to know anyway, and then you can apply those things to this situation to get our formula for the slope of the tangent line. Now, of course, if you are able to memorize this formula correctly, then go for it, but I'm just giving you a way to uh, think about this kind of problem without having to memorize a very complicated formula. Okay, now let's apply the formula to the situation. Our f of theta, our r, is 8 minus 8 sine theta, so now all we're going to do is plug in. So let's figure out the values of all these things. So first of all, what's f of theta? So f of theta, that's f of 3 pi over 2. So that's 8 minus 8 times the sine of 3 pi over 2. The sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1, so that's positive 16. f prime of theta, well, the derivative of 8 minus 8 sine theta is negative 8 cosine theta. So that means that f prime of 3 pi over 2 is negative 8 times the cosine of 3 pi over 2. But the cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0. Now we also need the sine and cosine, which we've already figured out, but just so that we know. The sine of theta, the sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. The cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0. So our dy dx is f prime of theta, which is 0, times the sine of theta, which is negative 1, plus f of theta, which is 16, times the cosine of theta, which is 0, all divided by f prime of theta, which is 0, times the cosine of theta, which is 0, minus f of theta, which is negative 1, times the sine of theta, which is 16. So this all works out to be 0 on the top, positive 16 on the bottom, which is 0. So the slope of the tangent line that we're looking for is 0. All right, now the second part of our question asks, at the point where the curve r equals 8 minus 8 sine theta intersects the origin, we want to find the equation of the tangent line in polar coordinates. So first of all, we need to figure out what point we're talking about. We know that r is going to be 0, but what we don't know is what theta is. So we're going to take 0 and plug it in for r in our equation. 8 minus 8 sine theta equals 0. So 8 sine theta equals 8, sine theta equals 1. And if we're thinking about theta being between pi, uh, 0 and 2 pi, that means theta is going to be pi over 2. So now the question is asking us for the slope of the tangent line at that point. So our same formula from before, dy dx equals f prime of theta sine of theta plus f of theta cosine of theta divided by f prime of theta cosine theta minus f of theta sine of theta. 
So now, just like before, let's figure out the values of these expressions at the, at the point we're looking for. So f of pi over 2, that's 8 minus 8 sine pi over 2. And no surprise here, we get 0. Remember, we found this point by setting r equal to 0, so that's no surprise. So if we look at our fraction, we know that f of theta is 0. f of theta is 0. So all we get now is f prime of theta times the sine of theta, f prime of theta times the cosine of theta. The f prime of theta is cross out, and we just get sine over cosine. We just get the tangent of theta. So the dy dx that we're looking for is the tangent of pi over 2, but that's undefined. So what does that tell us about our tangent line? It's got an undefined slope. That means it's got to be a vertical line. So if we're thinking in polar coordinates, here we are in our xy plane, and we're looking for a line that is vertical. So that line is going to look a little something like this. A vertical line. We know it goes through the origin because that's where we found this point in the first place. So in polar coordinates, what is the equation of that line? Well, Lines through the origin and polar coordinates have equations that look like theta equals some value, and in this case the value is pi over 2. An equally valid answer would have been theta equals 3 pi over 2, but if you notice, we found our theta in the first place to equal pi over 2. So it's actually not much of a surprise that we got theta equals pi over 2 for our tangent line. So that's the basic idea. Again, feel free to not fully memorize this formula, instead memorize where the formula comes from so that you don't have to spend a lot of time worrying about where's the sine, where's the cosine, where's the plus, where's the minus. You can just remember the product rule and uh, the derivation of this formula.